we are out and walking again. Starting our day with about an 800,000 foot climb. <sighs> and then we ridge walk for the rest of the day, I hope. More or less. If the rocks don't get us, it should be a fairly straightforward day of hiking. We're doing almost 18 miles. That's almost a new high for us, I think. Nearly. Hiking back to Duncannon. And uh, I want to call out Trail Angel Mary for shuttling us around. She's a sweet person and uh, gives a lot back to the hiking community. So it was nice to have met her. She shuttled us twice and she's set to pick us up earlier than I want to get out of the bed tomorrow morning. So we appreciate her. And the folks that are out here like her that uh, give their time to support us. Something I hope we can all keep in mind later on is to try to give back to that cause. The top of our first climb today, really the only decent climb that we've got, and we should be on the ridge line for the bulk of the day, I think. And then uh, in the afternoon, we go down the hill into Duncannon again. I think we cross over the Susquehanna River and we're back in town. So that'll be kind of nice. Just we'll see how things go. But, uh, it's going to be a more pleasant day for hiking, I'm confident, because the temperatures are going to be much reduced today than over the last few days. Yesterday it was just really ridiculously hot. It was in the upper 90s. And uh, we chose to not hike. And I feel like we made the right choice, even though you know, maybe we hadn't earned our zero day. It was, uh, it was not a day for us to try to make a 17 or 18 mile trip, that's for sure. Especially not starting as late as we would have started yesterday. Because we didn't get picked up until around 10, 30 or 11. I guess we could have Ubered earlier than that, but anyway, it is what it is. We're plowing forward. Gavin's way out ahead, as per normal. He uh, had a little bit of a head day yesterday because he was disappointed about not being able to fish, but he got past it. It was absolutely, bless you, absolutely awesome to have uh, Ted and Jennifer and Sophie and Corinne come up yesterday and visit with us. They're such special people. I, they're so such good friends and good people. Um, so proud of them because they are, they're just a very giving and loving Christian family. And uh, you know, you can, the, the, the love between Ted and Jennifer is absolutely palpable and, uh, and for their kids as well. So I'm blessed to know them and I'm so proud of them and, and proud to call them our, our friends. So anyway, oh, there's some rocks. Thankfully they're not on the trail. Hopefully we won't have ridiculous rocks today. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure we will at some point because it's just the way of it. But right now we've got a pretty easy little ridge walk and we're going to be okay with that. Bug yeah, it does look like a caterpillar from this bug slide. Let me get you uh, over here so that you're in the camera. This guy here I think will become a Luna moth if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if I can get the brightness adjusted. Pretty cool. I haven't seen one of those in years. Since you're Huge, huge, huge varmints, but they're kind of cool. And I think Luna moths are especially cool. They're huge, they're green. Maybe this thing won't become a Luna moth. I don't know, but I think it does. We're still moving up along the ridge. It's been a nice hike today. Not too hot, although that doesn't stop us from sweating. And uh, having a good day of it. Just passed a hiker coming south. She's going, we're going south. She's going north through hiker. She said, who's Hawkeye's dad? I said, oh, that's me. Oh, well, he's waiting up there because there's a rattlesnake on the trail and he doesn't want to walk past it. And I can respect that. I'd just as soon not also. So we should be catching up to him shortly. And maybe we'll have something interesting to video. And then we're going to move on along because I don't have any need for uh, hanging around rattlesnakes at all. So we'll... we'll Catch up to him just here shortly and see what we see. Alrighty, well, this is a treat for the day. Um, not a real good way around him. No, not when it's in my pack. 
Yeah, so anyway, we have rattlesnake this morning. I'm more worried about you having a bug. Yeah, me too. Anyway, it's all good. All right, well, there's the tip of the tail. I'm trying to get him to move off the trail, and it wouldn't hurt my feelings if he'd go a little farther. Is he moving or coiling? Yeah, he coiled. Okay. But he's also looking back to the all, not close to Yeah. Okay, so we're trying to get the rattlesnake to move uh, a little farther off the trail. All right, here we go. All right, so we're moving along. You're all right, buddy. Go on, buddy. Go on, buddy. Go ahead. That is odd. I don't know. I think it's a snake. Go ahead on down the trail, dude. Seriously, move along. Okay. All right, so anyway, we're gonna, there we go. As long as you go that way, dude, we're good. Moving off the trail. No, he's not, though. All right, let's walk on past. All good. Well, we've come across the, ooh, that was a weird sounding, across. We just came to the Whitetail Trail. That's hard to say, too. And the Victoria Trail. My question is, how do the deer know well enough to read the sign to know that that's the trail they're supposed to take? And I thought they were colorblind, so why plays it with a pink noise? But anyway, it's marked as being a most difficult trail here. They don't mark the Appalachian Trail as to be difficult or not so difficult. But so far, we're having a pretty good day of it. We're uh, paused here just to breathe for a few minutes, but we've been up on a ridge line all day. That's a pretty cool tree right there. There's four trunks coming out of it. Yeah, could you imagine an elephant with four trunks? Maybe not. And then we got these uh, mushroomy looking things down here. Is that what they call chicken of the forest or whatever? Chicken of the woods. Okay, so that's not it. Okay, so that's just a uh, big clump of some kind of fungus. So anyway, oh, do you know why? Do you know why the mushroom was such a great guy to have at a party? Because wow. he's a fun guy. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty horrible, isn't it? That's not quite the way that joke's supposed to go. Look, we're having a sword fight. This could get ugly. Yeah, he keeps poking her. She keeps hitting him. It's all fair. All right, we're going to move on up the trail and make some time. We just stopped at a shelter to have a little bit of a lunch. And I forgot to take pictures of it. It was a beautiful shelter. Met some young fellows that were out hiking the trail. That was kind of cool. We'll probably see them again because uh, we're going south today. They're going north and they haven't left yet. Although they may hike tonight. I think they hiked last night and into this shelter in the wee hours of the morning. But uh, we're still up on the ridge, hoping we can get done before the thunderstorms start, because I think we're likely to have some of those today. But it's not very hot, I'm thankful for that. The trail has been kind to us so far. I'm thankful for that too. And I'm thankful to have these two people in front of me that we're hiking with, because they're a lot of fun. We have good conversations. We laugh a lot. We support each other when we're down. And uh, it's just awesome. So anyway, moving on up the road. And I'll stop again sometime later on when I see something interesting. Now we're at Table Rock. And we're nowhere near North Carolina. For the benefit of Bullfrog, those are two mountains that we have an hour or so from home. Table Rock's in Burke County. Chimney Rock is... Gosh, I don't know what county that, that's in. That Chimney Rock is right down near Lake Lure where they filmed uh, Dirty Dancing. Chimney Rock, I was familiar with. Yeah, they're, both, they're, they're not far out of Asheville, neither one of them. We've got a really nice view here. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna try to brave the uh, 
walk down and then back up that other rock, but I think I'm not. I think I'm just gonna view from right here and uh, let the breeze hit me for a few minutes and watch the butterflies. I don't know if you can see the butterflies or not, but there's three or four of them over there on the rock. Here on, there's a couple of them. The other one's over here on the, on the lip of it. Maybe you can see them right in the middle there. I don't know what kind of butterflies those are, but they're very plentiful out here. We've seen more of those than anything else. Nice hike today and a nice breeze right here. I'm looking at the sky thinking, man, I hope we can walk fast because I think we're going to get some rain this afternoon, but we could certainly use the shower as well. So we'll take whatever we get. Well, our trail just opened up. We've got crackling power lines and views and such as that. Rocks, paint, bless, and view down in the valley there. Man, it'd be kind of nice if the whole trail was like this. This is just mulched. That'd be awesome. Everybody would be out here then. Wow. Oh boy, yeah, we're not going to video uh, I that. I, was... I wonder if that was, uh, was that Sarah? Hey. Oh. oh, yeah, mm -hmm. there's some, uh, some graffiti up there that will not video. Hopefully I didn't get a video of it earlier. I'll have to scan this one. I hope I remember because sometimes I don't remember and sometimes Sometimes some words slip through that we don't mean to slip through, or at least I hope they haven't, but they probably have. We try to be careful. But uh, wow, this is just weird hearing those things crackle and pop. We've got major league wires over our heads here and uh, going down into the valley there. And I just, I never realized that you could hear the you hear those wires, that's just incredible. Oh, pretty review that way. Nice, except for the power lines. We're moving right along, having a good day on it. National Park Service Appalachian Trail Bridge, 2003. Cool, thank you guys. So this goes over the road. Don't know what road, I guess I could look it up. We've got a nice little view out there through the fence, but you probably can't make heads or tails out of it through the fence. But, uh, we're still up here on the ridge line and meandering along, having a pretty good day. We're actually making, I think, pretty good time here the last little bit. I think we've walked a little faster this afternoon than we've walked in a while. And the trail has been... Uh, good to us so far, knock on wood or rocks. So we'll carry on and hopefully the trail will continue being nice to us. Headed back into Duncannon today. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's the fourth time we've been there. Sort of. Yeah, because we, we came in the one day, ah, Pui, I just dropped my pole. We were here the one day that we zeroed. Ouch. I don't know, we've been here a few times anyway. We're on the outskirts of town tonight. Moving forward. Still wandering through the forest again. I came upon this and I thought this was really kind of a neat thing. These are some really well-behaved rocks right here. I like these rocks they're up there and not down here. See these guys down here, these are the bad guys. So this one's not so bad. This one's not so bad. But uh, that one, sharp corner right there. Ouch, if you step on that. But I'm not gonna do a lot of complaining because honestly, it's been a pretty easy walk today. But to be truthful, with the exception of a few small sections, most of Pennsylvania has been pretty easy to navigate, not a whole lot of big ups. Of course, I was thinking about it just a little while ago. I don't think we've carried a backpack in the state of Pennsylvania yet. Because uh, we bought Gavin's backpack back at Waynesboro and we've slack packed since then. So he's not even carried his brand new backpack yet. So we'll have to rectify that situation at some point, but as long as we can slack pack without spending a ridiculous amount of money, Pretty good gig. 
the bullfrog's knee's starting to bark at him a little bit today, which is bad. That's the first time in a couple of days. So uh, be prayerful that that will abate. Whatever it is will go away. Maybe we can find him a brace that'll hitch up a little tighter than the one Pringles gave him. That one helps some, but I think to have one with Velcro on the top and the bottom to really cinch down would be even better. So we'll look for that when we get to a town somewhere that's got a Walmart or some place like that. Oh wow, nice breeze coming over this ridge top right here. Bad rock. Wow, that feels so nice. Yes. Even though it's not very hot out here, you still appreciate every little breeze that you get. And that's one of the nice advantages of walking along these little ridge lines is you get those breezes quite frequently. So anyway, oh, we're gonna pause for just a moment. Maybe. Maybe. We have berries, angels of pan. I didn't get that face on video. It's a good one. That was a nice face you about fell over right there in the trail without doing anything. So, going for the wine berries. Oh, I didn't get the whole body shake. Uh, I gotta back up. We really need bare necessities sometimes, but I need an advance warning on that so that I know when to get my phone out. Because uh, that will make Angel dance down the trail. That's pretty, pretty funny to see. It's fun that we can talk and laugh with each other. Life's too, uh, life's too short to be miserable and to not have fun and to not enjoy laughter. It's one of the greatest gifts. Now, we are uh, moving along at a pretty good clip today because we're hearing thunder, thunder rumbling in the distance. And we're trying to get at least to the shelter, if not get on down off the mountain before uh, we have to deal with the storm, but this is a pretty nice little trail right here. Wide open, not too bad rocky. Well, they've made up for it with some down tree limbs today, but it's a good walk. I think we've all been uh, pretty happy with uh, speed and conditions and etc. and so forth today, and though we haven't seen a whole lot in the way of overlooks, it has been a very peaceful walk in the woods. And, uh, yep, I see that one. I caught a uh, tree branch in the face. Thanks for the warning up there. I don't think we're probably less than a mile from the shelter by now. And then that'll be, I don't know, four or five miles downtown or down to town. Maybe not, I don't know. Not as far as it was. So we're making a good time this afternoon. And that's nice. And something we don't have south of here haven't gotten there yet. I hope he's not there. Gone. Okay. There you go. If you can see him wandering down through the woods there. Porcupine, ladies and gentlemen. I saw one of those when we were in Harper's Ferry, but that's the first one I've seen on trail. I hate that I didn't get a good close-up picture. Maybe Bullfrog did. Or he can send me his video and I can extract the picture. Yeah. Oh, cool. So maybe I can get a photo of a closer up photo of him when we get back to the hotel and I'll put it in this video later yeah well he was moving kind of quick the way his hackles were raised it would be almost as if we had surprised him a little bit and uh, this is an interesting little rocky outcropping that we got to dance around here and hopefully not break anything off but uh, yeah, that's number two for me. Yeah, I'm not even sure I've ever seen one in the zoo. I guess I surely have, but I don't know. Yeah, when I was sitting, I was sitting at the gazebo one night at uh, Harper's Ferry outside the uh, hotel where we stayed by myself, and a groundhog walked up. And the closer the groundhog got, the spikier looking he was. I'm thinking, you know, that's not a groundhog. And he was about to step in the little doorway into the gazebo and I was looking for a back door and there was not one. But thankfully when I said, hey, stop, you can't come in here. He stopped and didn't come in here and turned around the other way faster than I could take a picture, Dad blast it. At least I got that one a little bit on video. 
I hope. Wasn't a real good video, but uh, we're still making our way forward. But we've transitioned to a spot that's just kind of down below the ridge line now. And uh, these rocky outcroppings that make up the ridge are just really kind of neat. You can sort of see right there in the middle, you can see daylight through those, how they've fallen there and, well, probably not fallen, how they've risen up there, I suppose, is more accurate. We're on a nice, easy little old road kind of a trail and moving right along. But uh, those rocks over there, they're really kind of neat. I thought they were, uh, it was kind of one of those, oh wow things. Oh wow, there's a big one. There's a really big one. I guess given all the time in the world, we could go over there and play on that or around it. But I bet it's snaky over there and I'd just as soon not. And uh, we're still, we're about half a mile from the shelter. Still trying to decide whether to duck in or keep going because it's gonna storm at some point. We're hearing some rumblings of thunder and we keep hearing little bits of rain. I don't think it's reaching us yet through the trees, but uh, it's coming. The question is, do we wait for it to come and blow over or is it gonna be such a thing that we'd be better off just to keep on going and walk as far as we can before it starts? So we'll look at our mileage when we get there. Oh, yeah, now I'm beginning to feel a little bit of a few drops. Not bad, just a little sprinkle. I don't think it's going to get real bad, but uh, anyway, we'll play it by ear when we get to the shelter here in a few minutes. Hawkeye's already pulled in there, I'm sure, because he's not a fan of thunder. Kind of freaks him out a little bit, and uh, we're working through that, trying to teach him that, you know, really there's no real need to worry about thunder unless you're the tallest thing nearby. I mean, we're on a, on a ridge line, but we're not on an exposed ridge line, so... Uh, Still, the chances of anything bothering us up here are pretty slim to none. But we're gonna get a little bit wet, very likely. But we need a shower anyway, and our clothes need washing, so that'll help out a bit. All right, I'm gonna put it on and catch up, and we'll talk to you real soon. All right, something else cool before we get in to the shelter. We got this huge rocky area. Man, look at it settled in down there. We got power lines here. And, oh, I can smell in the air, this is gonna be a short-lived storm. It's one of those you can kind of sniff and tell that it's just an afternoon shower. So that's pretty cool, I'm pretty excited about that. So maybe we will duck in and stay out of the rain as much as possible, if we can get there. I wanna get out of this open space and back into the woods where I have some protection from the elements a little bit. There we go. That didn't help. Oh, yes, it, yeah, it did help. It helped an immeasurable amount. Oh, we're getting a little bit wet, but it's okay. We got a nice little view off this ridge line right here before we start going down into uh, Dun Cannon. We think that's where we're headed down there. That's got to be the town. And uh, we should be there before too long. And hopefully this rain's going to blow over. It's never knock on wood. It has not uh, stormed horribly on us yet. And of course, the day is young. You don't ever know. But hope I didn't just give it the kiss of death. Oh, there's a bridge. I wonder if that's the one we're going over. Because I know we switch back on this thing a lot of times. So who knows? We'll get down there eventually and we'll show you when we get there. Well, what good is a day without a little rock copping, huh? How about this? And this is the easy part. I didn't dare get my phone out 10 minutes ago. But uh, this is where our trail is going today. But we're on our Last little bit, thankfully. Working our way down to Duncannon. Slowly and surely. Thankfully the rocks are, uh, at this moment, not slippery. I hope I didn't just jinx that. But they're gritty enough that you can grab a hold of them with your shoes. And they do pretty well, so. We are plowing forward with due caution. Oh boy, so now which way? Oh, okay, so we're gonna be going to the left eventually. There's a blaze down there over Angel's shoulder. So he's going that way. An option would be to go that way. I don't know. I'll go this way, what the heck. 
I'll probably slip on this rock right here. Maybe not. Nope, it's all good. You want a hand? Okay. There you go. Yep. Safe and secure. Awesome. So, anyway, the afternoon obligatory rock hop at the rock. No, no, it's supposed to be at the hop. Okay. So we'll talk to you soon. We're going to get off this mess. Angel's not a fan of the rocks. I'm not much of a fan of the rocks either. Okay, so now I'm gonna I got on got on through that. We're gonna plow on forward here. Oh. Yep, there it comes at some point. We are coming down off the ridge line finally to the roadway just outside of Duncan in Pennsylvania. We have made it. We've got railroad tracks and we've got highways and we've got all manner of stuff right here coming together at once. And there's a Hawkeye way across the river over there. So uh, way across the railroad tracks and the roads and I hear ya. So, anyway, we came from Clark's Ferry. We didn't come down the Susquehanna Trail. Gavin said it would save us a mile, but I'm still trying to keep as pure to this thing as I can, and I really don't want to come back to Pennsylvania to make up one mile of trail that I missed because it was grizzly a little bit. So, uh, anyway, we're doing well. We're crossing over the railroad tracks. make our way into town. See if we can get a ride back to the hotel. I think that the uh, hotel where we're staying offers a shuttle. It'd be awfully nice if we could find some people that enjoy talking to fruit hikers that would take us for free. I don't know, but uh, I know we cross a bridge. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm waiting on that line Okay. Cool. Well, there's Hawkeye over there. We're going to cross over and figure out which way is up. Well, we are walking across the Susquehanna River. On the bridge. Thankfully, we're outside on the crosswalk or sidewalk or whatever it is you call this thing. Headed into town. Almost finished our day of hiking. It's around 4:30, so we're actually maybe a little earlier than I expected we'd be. Maybe not that much, but uh, it's been a good day of hiking. Got a little bit of a rainstorm that we got. But we're all good. Now we can skip our showers this evening. Yeah, no, not really. Not really. I was kidding. That was a joke. It's a joke, people. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. Holy cow! That was a look. Did y'all see that? All right, we are sitting down to dinner. Thank you, Bobby, for arranging our supper tonight. We appreciate it so much. We've got- Katie. And Katie, okay, I didn't ever catch her name. South of the border meatloaf, which is a pampered chef recipe. We have green beans, we have potatoes, and we have cookies. And we're excited. We're gonna eat well tonight. Thank you guys very much for this treat. Yes.